Watching the news is as close as it gets for some people living in Breezy Point. All I know for sure is what I've seen on, you, on CBC's aerial photographs. Ron Snyder has been living at the South Beach Casino for a week after being forced out of his home by floodwaters in Breezy Point. He hasn't been able to go back home yet. There's a mandatory evacuation order there. This barricade limits people from visiting North Breezy Point where there was a lot of damage because of flooding. Still, some homeowners want to see what the water and ice did to their property. I know a few that snuck in, but I won't mention their names as I'm not sure whether the authorities are aware of these people or not. And if authorities do find out you've crossed the barricade, be warned. People that go beyond the barricades are being charged under the Highway Traffic Act by the RCMP for failure to obey a, a road barricade. Officials say the area just isn't safe enough yet to go back. The road still has water pouring over it, making homes inaccessible in case of emergency. I don't think it's safe. And myself personally, I don't recommend anybody to go there. Go ahead. Some Breezy Point residents don't mind the barricades, even though they've been forced to stay in less than ideal conditions. We're staying uh, in a wrecking yard in Selkirk. This is it. There's, no one's offered us anything else anymore. Ron Fincarek says was, he'll just sit tight and wait till it's safe. Spot. His entire family has been staying here for the week. B.J. Schofield and Aaron McCarthy came to visit him today, but they're not as understanding with officials who say they can't go home yet. These are our homes, our lives down there. I mean, like, people can't just play with other people's lives. I mean, we want to know what's going on down there. No one has told us anything. That's why an emergency information meeting for Breezy Point residents has been scheduled for 1 p.m. tomorrow at the Selkirk Legion. And people we spoke to say they aren't getting any financial support either to stay in hotels right now. But the province says disaster financial assistance will cover a 30-day hotel stay for people whose permanent homes are in Breezy Point. Arthi Pohl, CBC News, Breezy Point, Manitoba.